The apparatus I've got here is part of a standard experiment that can be used to find the centre of mass of a two-dimensional shape, such as this outline of England that I have. The basic idea, as you probably know, is to take the shape, to dangle it from a pin. When it comes to rest, the centre of mass should always be directly below the pin, and you can find that by simply hanging a plumb line, like so, from the pin, and then drawing a line going straight down from the pin. And you know, in theory, the centre of mass should be located somewhere along that line. To locate its exact position, all you then have to do is repeat the experiment using another point to get a second line, and then, in theory at least, the centre of mass should be located where the two lines cross. Now, as any good experimenter knows, what we should always do is just repeat our experiment quickly to check our results. And we can do that by making a third hole, like I've got here, dangling it again, and then making a third line. However, as you probably realise, when you do experiments, it's very unlikely that you're ever going to get, in fact impossible, that you'll ever get the same results exactly. And so in general, what happens with this experiment is that you actually get the three lines missing each other and forming a triangle like that. Now this is where the puzzle comes in. What I want to ask is, what is the probability that the actual centre of mass is located in that triangle? Now, surprisingly, there is an exact answer to this. And in order to get the answer, you only have to make one very simple solution. And that is that there is as much chance of the centre of mass lying to the right of each line as there is it lying to the left of each line. So what is the probability that the centre of mass is located within that triangle?